go to the Czech Republic. Hey. That was that a Czech accent? No. I detected. No. That was definitely Italian accent. I'm on holiday in the Czech Republic. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second day of this epic road trip that's gonna get us to Sweden, Stockholm. This is the road trip from Timisoara, Romania to Prague, Czech Republic. We'll show you where we stop for lunch, our favorite stop in Europe, and then we will give you a lot of driving tips in Europe. Stay tuned. Hello and good morning. This is our second day of our Scandinavian road trip. We started yesterday in Bucharest and today we are in Timisoara. Yesterday we went, uh, we stopped in Timisoara because it was just extremely hot. It was a weird heat wave in Romania and I could barely uh, sit in the car anymore, although we have air conditioning, it was just unbearable. And uh, yesterday we, um, after 8 p.m., we explored a bit of uh, Timisoara, which is a really nice place. I truly recommend you stop here. Um, now we woke up at five but uh, I already spent some uh, time online because um, I was looking for um, the um, uh, custom situation. Um, as you might know, Romania is not in Schengen, which means there is a, um, a border control when you leave Romania. And this applies to our uh, crossing for today, which is through uh, Hungary. And there is a website, I'm gonna link it below. It's a Romanian website that tells you all of the quarter crossings uh, in Romania and how uh, busy they are from uh, Romania to Hungary. Tends to get quite busy during summer because like everybody's going on holiday, like everybody's going someplace. We also um, have apparently a lot of foreign uh, tourists road tripping around Romania, so yeah, that happens as well. And uh, also I uh, spent some other time online buying um, online vignettes. So of course I already have one for Romania because I'm from Romania and I know it and uh, I know about it and we have like a year long vignettes because you need one in Romania, but you also need one for, uh, for Hungary our next country which is Slovakia and uh, then another one from for Czech Republic uh, we, uh, we will finally reach Germany and there's no need for um, vignette there so basically I spent I don't know around 50 euros for all of the uh, these uh, three vignettes because we will be crossing all of these countries today you if you plan to go around uh, you plan a round trip and you go and come back uh, within a month then maybe it would be more advantageous to just get a 30 day a 30 day vignette oh what else oh and we're gonna probably refill our gas tank here in Romania because it's uh, probably the cheapest and I expect things to get dramatically worse as we uh, head over to Sweden um, yeah, Edward, uh, I see you're impatient. Uh, is there anything logistic I need to add to this uh, day? Have we planned everything out? Oh, we also had, uh, uh, we we bought online some, um, what was that? Roaming, yeah, we need roaming on our phones. What else was that there, Eddie? When you go to Hungary, Make yes. sure you have an appetite. Oh yes, Edward is planning our meals for the day. Because it's called hunger. We also have a favorite spot, a veggie spot in uh, Bruno in the Czech Republic. Okay, we have to go because uh, the queue for the border for exiting Romania is not getting any shorter. right now in Hungary is that the government is um, like paying half of uh, the price of uh, gas 
but it's only for Hungarians. Uh, the price for us is this one, and the price for Hungarians is this one. So, yeah, nice. places and especially vegan restaurants and each time we pass to Czech Republic we make sure to uh, allow a time slot on our schedule to stop here in Brno because they have this wonderful uh, vegan, uh, veggie restaurant which is called Begalitis right over there across the street you cannot really see it but we know it uh, we stopped here for like five times already so <laughs> a lot of uh, uh, road trips around the Czech Republic and um, yeah, it's basically a traditional restaurant, but they serve the um, vegan version of the meal, and it's really good and affordable, beer. and they have really good beer. So it's in the cellar, uh, you don't have a, a service connection there, but you know, it's worth it for the beer and for the food, and yeah, you just stop for eating. And uh, yeah, we have to pay the parking now, luckily everybody's on holiday, so it was super easy to find a spot here to park. So look, today is a Saturday and during the weekend there is no parking fee. So till Monday morning at 1 a.m. we can enjoy this free parking. Um, obviously you have to uh, pay during the week. So for 16 minutes you can park here because this is a residential area. Like they have some blue lines there. And for 20 minutes, it's like 10 uh, Czech crowns and you can add more. Oh, and you can also pay by card if it's working. Sometimes it does, I don't know, depends on the machine, but yay, happy. Saving like 30 crowns. Drink. <laughs> so this is the Begalite vegetarian vegan place and they have daily menu. Thank you, Edward, for showing us our, your butt. <laughs> so they nice. have a, a steak. Saturday. And I don't know what Asian miso soup. Oh, yes. Untraditional. So, the vegan menu, steak. it's like 135 uh, Czech crowns, which is like how much? Uh, you just told me, but I forgot. It's like uh, uh, six euros. Six euro? Yeah. Uh, and each day you have, they have a different menu. And sometimes you can choose uh, for the second uh, course if you have if you want the first option or the second option. But today, like there is only one option. No, there's two. Asian miso soup yeah. or no. Rabi steak. You, you get the soup. Uh. If every day there is a soup, and then for the second oh, course you can choose one or two. But today is just like one. There is no choosing. So uh, vegan or gluten free. Sometimes they have yeah. Okay, and they also have like uh, bohemian uh, dumpling stuff, uh, yeah, yeah, and you also have menu in English, I think this is like vegan, uh, have one, right, let's see if it's open.
lastly, Eddie's favorite part is the beer. Yeah, I, I usually come to the Czech Republic for uh, the beer. It's not even a joke. I dream about it. <laughs> I plan my next trips around this. Around this location, right? Yeah. We somehow somehow always end up here, and they have different beers all the time. Yeah. On the other side. Looks like now they have a, a regular menu. That stuff that they serve every day, not just a daily menu. So this is a, quite an improvement, and you can choose based on the type of food you want. And their prices are really good, affordable, and steady. Love it. And this is for the main course. Somebody is very pleased. You add beer to anything and I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> you enjoy our second day of the road trip it took us all the way from uh, Romania to Prague on the next day the third day we're gonna give you more driving tips in uh, Czech Republic and in Germany we're finally gonna reach Germany we had uh, quite a funny interesting not so funny encounter with the police um, spoiler alert everything was fine in the end but not for everybody involved and then uh, uh, our uh, plans got uh, spoiled for the night because it started raining and we found this very interesting accommodation so stay tuned for tomorrow day three of the road trip to Sweden.